In this video, we'll be showing you how to make a smooth moon, perfect for applying mosaics onto, with approximately half a cup of Paltai Premium Sculpting Medium. We'll show you how to make your foil armature, how to mix, apply and smooth the product, how to cure the product, ready for mosaic or painting. So let's dive in. Here's all the tools you'll need. Pause the video to screenshot the full list. Always use the foil shiny side in and dull side out. That way your eye can see the shapes better. Begin by crumpling your tin foil and making a longish banana shape. Continue to shape using hands. And your tool. Smooth down the edges with a spoon. Once you're happy with your shape, hot glue it onto a square cardboard base. Note that our base is 5 inches square. This will help as a size guide so you don't go too big or small. Always use gloves when mixing and sculpting in Paltai Premium. Measure half a cup. Please note that cup sizes may vary depending on which country you live in. Measure approximately 2 tablespoons of cold water. We like to cover our bowl, as the product can kick up some dust. If you don't do it this way, then you must use a dust mask. Mix until it starts to clump together. Like this. We always use this mix to clean out our bowl to save time later. Now knead like dough for two minutes to blend it all together. Paltai Premium has a lovely, creamy, doughy-like consistency. Your mix may be a little too wet like ours. If you need to, you can use an old towel to extract a tiny bit of water. What you're looking for is that nice, pliable, cookie dough consistency. Here's a little trick to confirm that your mix is correct. First roll it into a ball, then into a cone shape. Place the cone in your hand and press it into a wedge. Press the centre three times, like so and then vibrate the product. If it makes a ribbon, it's a perfect mix. It can take a little time to practice this. Now place that lovely doughy Paltai Premium onto your moon armature. Cover all the tin foil. Now using the back of an old spoon, start to smooth out the surface. You can use a rubber kidney, a tool or a spoon for this. The product will begin to slowly stiffen. Prepare to set it aside for an hour. After an hour, the surface is both stiff and pliable, perfect for burnishing. Keep at it with your tools, keep smoothing it, and you'll get a gorgeous finish. Mm -hmm. 
When you're happy with your design, it's time to cure and strengthen your piece. Using either a Ziploc bag or plastic bag, place your sculpture inside and make sure it's wrapped tight. The following day, remove it from its plastic and rewrap with wet cloths. This will make your product incredibly strong. You're going to be leaving it inside for five days. After five days, remove it from its plastic, remove the towels and the cardboard base. You can leave the foil inside, but we like to remove it to keep it nice and neat. Sandpaper can be used to get nice clean edges. And you may notice some little hairy fibres sticking out. If you want in a well ventilated area, you can burn those off with a chef's torch or lighter. To show you the shine, let's wet the moon down a little. This piece is perfect for mosaics or painting, whatever you like. We hope you like this video and make sure to check out the rest of our videos for inspiration when sculpting with Paltaya Premium. Don't forget to become a Peltai Insider to get access to our bonus, discounts, offers and more. Thanks for watching.